So just as I was about to release a video covering Oklahoma's big-time pickup in the transfer portal this weekend of Des Malone from San Diego State University, the Sooners receive massive news that the leader on their defense, heck, the leader of their football team, Danny Stutzman, is set to return for the 2024 season. And today, we need to talk about all of this good news. But before we can... As always, y'all know the drill. I've got to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you excited that Danny Stutzman returns for next season? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and comment down below. But having said all that, let's jump right into this. And we're going to start with the news that just broke. That Danny Stutzman will be set to return for the 2024 season. And he announced it in glory fashion. This is huge news for the Oklahoma Sooners and the fan base. Danny Stutzman was the undeniable leader of that Oklahoma defense, and he was someone that was hyper-productive. When we look at his stats on the year, he had 99 tackles, 47 solo tackles, three sacks, two forced fumbles, an interception, and he was the leader of that defense, the quarterback of the defense. Going into next year, OU already had great news that Billy Bowman was set to return, and he's the quarterback of that secondary, but now you double down. Not only do you get to keep Billy Bowman as you head into the SEC, but you get to keep Danny Stutzman, and that is as big of a win as OU fans could have possibly hoped for. And understand, yes, there's a lot of talent in that linebacker room for Oklahoma, and Brent Venables is a linebacker guy. So if you expect anybody to get those guys up to speed, it would be him. But there is no denying that Danny Stutzman coming back for another year could be massive for his draft grade, and it should be massive for the Oklahoma Sooners as they transition from the Big 12 to the SEC. Having that experience is going to be big, especially when you return Billy Bowman. That tandem, I don't think there's any understating how important that was and why this is such a big deal. Danny Stutzman is now going to be a guy that I think a lot of GMs in the NFL, a lot of scouts are watching next season to see how he continues to progress. Because there's no question how quickly he's progressed under Brent Venables, and another year could be massive for him. So this is huge for Oklahoma fans. But this isn't the only bit of good news they're getting, especially coming out of a weekend where they got a big-time pickup out the transfer portal that we haven't yet gotten to talk about yet. Des Malone from San Diego State University transfers to Oklahoma, and this is a big win. If we look at Pro Football Focus, they state that in the past 400 coverage snaps, he's only allowed one touchdown. This is a guy that's hyper-experienced. And every time we talk about the transfer portal, there's a few characteristics that really you're looking for. First and foremost, it's that experience because you can't get experience out of high school. Those guys have never played a snap of college football. You don't have to worry about that in the transfer portal. You can get guys that are hyper-experienced. And especially like we just got done talking about in terms of Danny Stutzman, why it's so important he comes back, that move to the SEC, so too is it so important that you get an experienced defensive back. Woody Washington looks to head to the NFL. And yes, this was a very talented group, but it was also a group in the defensive backs that had injuries. So getting that competitive depth is paramount. Iron sharpens iron. And that's exactly what Brent Venables is trying to instill. So if one of the characteristics you're after is experience, what are some of the other ones? Well, the other characteristic, in my opinion, it kind of bleeds into the first one, and that's production. Because typically, if you're experienced, you have positive production, but not always. This is a guy that, like I said, when we started talking about him in Malone, he was only allowed one touchdown and 400 coverage snaps. That's pretty good production. He stands six foot two, 200 pounds, and he's got the length and physicality that is so coveted both in the NFL and in college football at the cornerback position. And then the last thing you're really looking for, if you can get it in the transfer portal, is eligibility. If you can get a guy that has positive experience, that has positive production, but he still has a year or two of eligibility after the year you get him, that's huge. It means you can continue to grow that player in your system, and that can be very productive for both the player and the coach and team. So Oklahoma's coming off of a weekend where they've received a lot of positive news. 
and I think Oklahoma fans are going to be buzzing, both about Danny Stutzman and about the way Brent Venables continues to navigate the portal. Because one thing I was wondering, how aggressive would you be, especially as you've recruited so well the previous two years, you've had such good transfer portal classes, how aggressive are you going to be? It didn't take long for Venables to answer, he's waiting for nobody, he's moving forward, and he's going to remain hyper-aggressive. Danny Stutzman coming back will help him remain hyper-aggressive, and getting a guy like Des Malone is huge. The experience he brings in, the competitive depth you get to add. The only thing we need to see from Malone is him be able to make the jump from a San Diego State to Power 5, but let's get one thing perfectly clear here. If you're a talented football player, you're a talented football player. And we got to see Malone take on two Power 5 schools this past year in Oregon State and UCLA, and he absolutely held his own. He looks the part, and he is a very talented player. So you have full reason to believe he'll be able to make that jump. So I can't wait to hear from all of you. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking about the massive news coming out of Oklahoma from both today and the weekend. That's it. See you.